So we have the uh, classic recipe type question uh, here. Um, they're giving us a list of ingredients for 12 cakes and they want you to work out how many uh, grams of margarine are needed for making 24 cakes. So we can see straight away that 12 cakes, if we double that up, then we'll get a recipe for 24. So basically we're going to double up every ingredient in here to make the 24 cakes. Well, they're only interested in the margarine. So we take the margarine figure and we double it up. Uh, 218s is 36. Uh, we've got the extra zero to multiply by 10, so it moves up one place to become 360 grams. So the answer there, 360 grams. Um, Sharon is going to be making 18 cakes. Um, so we've got to now look for a multiple of 12. That gives us 18. Well, we've got lots of ways of thinking about this. We could say 12 to 18 is the same as multiplying by one and a half. Half of 12 is six, added time makes 18, so times by one and a half, that's one way of doing it. Or we could recognize that 12 plus six is equal to 18, and therefore we need half the recipe added on. Either way, we're gonna be multiplying by one and a half. Um, this is about flour, so we had 200 grams of flour so when we look at the recipe we had 200 grams of flour in the original recipe and we want to multiply this by one and a half and multiplying by one and a half is take the number itself and add on half of it so that's going to be 300 grams if you did the half the recipe approach six cakes needs 100 grams that's half the recipe value. The original recipe had 200 grams for 12 cakes. Half that, then you get for six cakes is 100 grams. 12 cakes, the original recipe had 200 grams. Add those together, then you get 300 grams. So either technique will give you 300 grams for the amount of flour.